you don't need a bunch of legal mumbo jumbo or somebody busting out a whole bulletin board with yarn wrapped all over the push pins to try to like justify why this is good news for anyone. Um, there is no law degree that you need to understand the fact that uh, we were told repeatedly that this Mueller report, you know, it was, it was reported on the press. It was reported on by various legal experts who kept telling us, pointing out the obvious at a time when it, it was sort of a more innocent seeming time when it felt like we had, we stood a chance of stopping then President Trump. There were arguments being made, for instance, that Robert Mueller absolutely could indict a sitting president. There, you know, there's nothing to say in the Constitution he couldn't. He absolutely had a right to. Barr's DOJ was depending on some just few decades old a DOJ memo that was essentially a, a cooked up get out of jail card. Um, and Mueller, as you always point out on the show, said under oath when asked by a Republican member of Congress whether Trump could be indicted when he left office. The answer Mueller gave under oath was yes. Um, the the 400 page Mueller report is a charging memo. So that right there, the fact that that we all lived and breathed the years long Mueller investigation and all the intensity of that and everything that it uncovered, everything that we basically were pointing out from the very start of the show. And people are going to act like none of that even happened because it's convenient for Merrick Garland and the DOJ to just sweep all those crimes under the rug and allow Trump to continue to go free. The GOP needs Trump less because they have acquired the structural power that they were pursuing by using Trump as a bulldozer uh, for the four years that he was in office. And Trump is not some sort of geopolitical mastermind, but he was more than happy to install whoever Mitch McConnell and uh, other Republican bureaucrats wanted to create an extremist uh, Supreme Court that can not only override the will of the voters, voters and the will of the public generally on issues like Roe versus Wade, but can rewrite the electoral system, which is a, an ongoing case that's happening uh, today with Moore versus Harper. And so I'm not quite as optimistic. I'm optimistic in terms of what I see the American people doing, that despite all of the horrific uh, crises that we faced over the last, I mean, I don't know, 10 years more, I mean, not just since 2016, although it obviously exists accelerated then, uh, people have continually fought back despite the media trying to streamline and mainstream fascism and make us accept mass death through COVID. Uh, you know, people have fought back against that too. Um, and, you know, there's a sense of, of incredible sadness that you naturally have when you're faced with, you know, so many tragedies occurring simultaneously. But, you know, I do think people should feel proud of what they accomplished. That said, they need to be very wary about what the GOP has accomplished, because the worst mistake people can make is to think that our problems are rooted in Trump and Trump alone. And this is something I see all those Democratic scam pack accounts pushing. You know, they want you to ignore the broader network. They want you to ignore history. They want Trump to be indicted and somehow see that as the end of the line. 